Here is something you don't see every day. A long, jagged crack splitting the ocean in two. Well, at least that's what it looks like. In truth, the ocean isn't breaking in half. And OK, that's not even the ocean. Hi, my name is Alexey Trofimov. I am a professional photographer from Siberia. This picture was taken in February this year on Lake Baikal in Russia. Lake Baikal is the world's largest freshwater lake and considered by many to be the deepest, oldest and clearest lake in the world. But it's also a wild place, one that can be very dangerous. The Baikal ice is pierced with one billion cracks from small to big depths. And the reason is influence of wind, uh, daily temperature difference, changes of atmospheric pressure and stream. All of these facts make ice start moving. Standing on Baikal ice, you keep hearing some sounds, very much like gunfire. And that's what Alexander captured in this picture, a distinct crack cutting through Lake Baikal's frozen waters, made possible by the region's harsh conditions. Strong winds, heavy snow and ever-shifting ice. And that brutal environment is exactly why he hired a team to help him navigate those dangers. The job just helps to reduce the risk, but it's impossible to accept it completely. To Alexander and many like him, the journey and the risk is half the fun. There is something more satisfying about skipping the easy or safe place to travel, to go past the crowds and tourists, to go a little bit further. I take pictures in places of Lake Baikal, which are difficult of access. The location of nearest people can be in 200 kilometers. My attention was drawn by the spirit of freedom of these places. When you are in these places, you see how our planet is wonderful. My general motto is the real life begins where the civilization ends. If you like this episode, be sure to check out this one on another peculiar place, a prison island off the coast of Florida. Access to the island can only be done by seaplane or by boat. Our plane was not equipped for landing on the water, so I enjoyed an afternoon of picture taking from the air. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.